Hi YT, what's up? This is Jackie. Today's video is not really going to be a tutorial. It's going to be about the compound or supplement MSM. People have heard a little bit about MSM but don't really know exactly what it is. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about MSM and how it can affect hair growth in a positive manner. Um, first of all, you've seen I've done about two or three videos on biotin. And I've been using biotin since January and I've had some really positive side effects from biotin. No real negative side effects. Most people complain that their negative side effect of biotin is that they have clogged pores which in turn causes acne. So fortunately for me I haven't had that problem because I drink plenty of water. If you've seen my videos you know that I said that biotin is water soluble which means that water helps break down the compound as well as um, the more water that you intake and the more biotin that you intake your body only process what it, need, what it needs and uses uh, excuse me and discards the rest of it as waste so that's basically the concept of biotin and I have other videos on that if you want to see as well as an update um, but today we're gonna hear we're here to talk about MSM excuse my rambling and stumbling over my words but I have a tendency to speak too fast and hopefully you can follow along with me but we're gonna talk about MSM I use Spring Valley and I've been using it for approximately two months and I'll tell you a little background about how I started using MSM. I came across it from other people that I've heard about using MSM as well as doing my own research. So some of this is my personal opinion and how it affects me in a positive way. And once again, like I said before in some of my other videos, I am no way a professional. So take my information for what it's worth and use it to your advantage however you want. You can disagree with me if you like, but this is just my opinion. So if you're interested, stay tuned. If not, shut off the video and trust me, I won't get offended at all. But to start with, MSM basically is a methanol sulfonyl uh, methane. Um, excuse me, methyl sulfonyl methane. That's what MSM stands for. It's a sulfur compound that is isolated from food. So basically, it's more or less like a food instead of really a supplement. You can find MSM in animals as well as uh, vegetables. And once you cook it or you can it or you process it, then it's no longer effective. So basically, it's like eating the raw food diet is how you use to get your MSM. Some people go on the raw food diet and they see a positive development in their joints and their muscle as well as hair growth and nail growth and just overall health. It makes them feel better but sometimes your body does need protein so you can't sustain on a raw food diet permanently. You have to kind of switch it up a little bit and do put other proteins and amino acids into your food. So with that said, basically all I'm saying is that MSM is very fragile and when you cook it or you can it or you store it or whatever, it does break down. For example, when you have like a can of corn and you open it up, before its actual process of cooking it into that can of corn is at its basic raw state of MSM and that's when it's its best when you're popping a hard kernel in your mouth. I wouldn't suggest that because you might break a tooth. But once you cook it and you eat it, then you no longer have MSM, but you do have other vitamins and nutrients in it as well. So taking MSM supplement, once again, like I said, is going on the raw food diet. If you don't want to take this supplement, try the raw food diet. Uh, it may work for you. So how does MSM affect your hair? Well, your hair grows in three phases. It grows in the growth, the uh, resting phase, as well as the shedding phase. And the growth phase is called antigen. And antigen basically grows from two to eight years of your growth phase. And it is by, uh, is determined genetically. So, for example, if your dad, if you're male and your dad is bald or has a receding hairline by the time he's 30, there's a 90% chance that you too will go bald or have a receding hairline by the time uh, you're 30. So that's just basic science and how your genetic plays an effect. And so your antigen phase, which is your growth phase, is determined by your genetics. So you know how you see some people have long hair growing down their back and others 
have a hard time growing hair, that's because of their genetic growth phase. A lot of African American women have short hair and it's not because of their genetic phase. A lot of times it's because they don't know how to take care of their hair. They use other chemicals and substances that burn it out. And once I personally learned how to stop burning out my hair and putting chemicals in it like perms and dyes and things like that and going natural, my hair started to regrow and turn back to its natural state. And I've never been more happier with it. I've been doing it for about a year and a half and I wouldn't change it for the world. I don't think I'll ever go back to perms, but that's just my personal opinion. And perm is what a black person calls relaxing their hair. We also call it a perm. So what MSM does, it, it helps in the aid of forming keratins in your body. And a keratin is basically a protein found within your hairs and fibers that consists of 18 amino acids. Not really going to go into what those 18 amino acids are because I'm trying to keep this short. I'm already at six minutes. So basically that's what, uh, I mean, what keratin is. So what am I saying about MSM? It's good for your overall health. It helps with the growth of your, um, your muscles. It helps recovery when you're doing workouts, it helps with your joints, it helps with your, your muscle pain, and it helps rid your body of toxins and um, you know break down those toxins within your body and you must drink water to help do that. MSM is absolutely wonderful. It hasn't been on the market very long. Negative side effects of MSM, so far I personally have not had any and I've read some, some things about MSM and there really aren't any negative side effects out there. So if you're looking for the negatives, I can't say, but if you're looking for the positives, what I've been meaning to say that I took me so long to get to is that it helps jumpstart the growth or the antigen process of your hair. If your hair is already in the second phase which is the resting phase of hair growth, then it will help jumpstart that and stimulate it. It will also prolong it. So if your hair grows only three years, there's a possibility MSM will help you grow your hair three to four years or five years. If your hair grows eight years, there's a possibility it may grow 10 years because it helps bond that natural keratin in your hair and puts the right oxygen flow to the to your scalp it also helps with dryness and itchiness as well this has a lot of positive effects on the hair i cannot stress that enough i've done quite a bit of extensive research and read up on it and is extremely amount of positive that i have to say about msm you can pick this up at walmart or cvs or walgreens or target wherever you decide to shop in your your vitamin section you can pick this up anywhere from about four dollars to ten dollars depending on how many milligrams you choose to use or you know how big of a bottle that you use i think i pay maybe about six dollars for this if i'm not mistaken this is 1000 milligrams which is equivalent to one gram um, if you're starting it for the first time, I would suggest that you start your way up with 500, working your way up to 1,000, and proceeding all the way up to 5,000 milligrams. Make sure that anytime you start a new vitamin or a new supplement, that you drink plenty of water. You don't want that buildup to be in your body because it could cause pores and clog your skin. And, you know, we always got to have that flawless skin. Everybody wants flawless skin. As you can see, my skin's pretty good. I'm not going to say that it's flawless, but it's not bad. I don't have um, any problems. So I really don't get a lot of zits. Maybe that's because I drink a lot of water or it could be genetics. My family has great genes when it comes to holding their youth because I am way up there in my 30s. So we do have great genes, uh, great genetics with that, as well as having pretty decent skin. So I cannot stress enough the, inf the importance of drinking water. I drink about 32 to 64 grams a day, more along the 32 side, because living in the South now, since I moved from Hawaii here to Florida, Oh God, sweet tea is my nemesis. So I drink water and I drink tea. This is about the only thing that I drink. But please make sure you drink water. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I've answered any questions that you guys have had about MSM. I wanted to do this sooner and I apologize that I didn't. And I'm also still gonna take my biotin as well. 
And I do want to say that on my video, my last video that I put on, I showed how biotin was helping my hair growth. But I did start using MSM right around February time frame that helped stimulate that hair growth. So that could be the reason why my hair was growing faster. I don't think I quite gave biotin enough time to work on its own before I decided to start my MSM regimen. And last but not least, there are also a whole host of vitamins and supplements that you can take. Some people like to take prenatal vitamins and some people like to take amino acids. But if you use a hair growth vitamin, make sure you have one that in there has uh, MSM. If not, pick up some MSM or try to get a new hair growth vitamin that has it in there. So I hope this has helped you. Please rate, subscribe, comment. Whatever you want to do, enjoy your day and thanks so much for watching. Ciao.